As today's plea made clear, the 2010 shadow campaign was the handiwork of a well-financed conspiracy to funnel corporate money into federal and local elections. But it, ju it just didn't start in 2010. Since at least 2001, this scheme has violated uh, federal and local election laws by using straw donors, uh, many of them uh, employees, friends, and family members of the conspirators, to make high-dollar campaign contributions that would then be reimbursed with personal and corporate money from the conspirators. This scheme allowed the conspirators to evade campaign contribution limits and then and the ban on corporate donations and to illegally direct tens of thousands of dollars to candidates for federal and D.C. offices. Today's plea is yet another reminder of the desperate and ultimately unsuccessful efforts that have been taken to bury the truth of what happened in 2010. We saw this obstruction before in the case of, of Howard Brooks lying to federal investigators and in the case of Thomas Gore shredding documents that contain records of illicit campaign contributions. Ms. Harris today admitted a far more expansive and sophisticated effort to obstruct justice. This effort involved the creation of phony business documents and a false tax return to try to disguise the shadow campaign uh, as a legitimate business expense. It also involved the destruction of paper and electronic records. And it even involved the plan to send Ms. Harris to Brazil for over five years, which is the statute of limitations on many federal offenses. These obstructive acts may have slowed our investigation, but they did not end it. Today, we're going to repeat the same message we've repeated time and time again as we've stood here after defendants have been convicted of lying and trying to hide the truth and avoiding responsibility for their actions. The truth is going to come out in the end, and you're far better off if you come to us on your own rather than waiting for us to approach you. One of the positive developments today that we have seen is that Ms. Harris came forward early and acknowledged her crimes, and for this, we should all be appreciative.